Hi, there you are. Huh? Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Excellent. I'm good. I'm good. How old is she? How old is your sobrina? How old is your niece? Uh, how old is she? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How old is she? How Seis acaba de cumplir. Oh, nice. Vení, te voy a presentar a mi maestra, mira. No ha comenzado la tuya. Esta monita es. Eh. ¡Hola! No la escucho, espéreme. Hola. Hola, ¿cómo está? Bien. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas, Luis? Natalia María Flores. Natalia. <ríe> ¿Y qué clase tienes? Oh, mira, qué bien. Y en el día tengo de... No sean mentirosos. Pero ahorita estoy sin clase porque me tienen que volver a escribir. Ahorita mi papá Ajá. me está volviendo a escribir. Muy bien. Y yo estoy en dos colegios. Oh, en y bien. en tres está. En serio, wow. Sí, en el colegio pasito hacia ti. Andame, y tres amor. tazas. Adiós, decir. Adiós. Voy a comenzar tu clase. Miren, la reciben en línea y todo. No, misma hora. Sí, está en línea ahorita. Ajá. Qué chivo. Ya el, ya el sábado comienza las, las de en físico. Ah, ok. Está ahí bien. ya van a activar esa parte. Sí. Ahí está la monita. Sí. A prepa va. No, no inicia tu clase. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. A comenzar prepa va. No, sí. <risa> está bien. No, ya no. No, a prepa vas. No, A prepa vas. No, vas a prepa. Mm, después de este año que viene. El siguiente. Ajá, el siguiente. El siguiente año voy para primer grado, por cierto. Muy bien. No, ya tengo que ingresar forma porque no he podido entrar. Mm. Ok, de yo, very good. A ver, vamos a, um, a ver, ¿usted estuvo en clase ayer de yo ahora? Es que yo no. No, <risa> no estuve yo. <risa> ah. En serio. No, ¿Quién sí, estuvo? Eh, eh, fíjense que, bueno, me cubrieron, pero realmente no sé quién me, me ayudó ayer a cubrir la clase. Entonces, Ah, pues las dos vamos de cero. ¡Oh, my goodness! <risa> Vaya, entonces vamos a ver. Vamos a ver esto de aquí. Vamos a ir a la plataforma igual. Ahora, right, porque quiero practicar la lectura. Solo déjeme ya. This is the one. <coughs> we're, we're still on uh, the first, the section one de Yoara, 1.14. Ok. Mm -hmm. So this is like what we're going to do. La, la clase anterior que fue... Viernes, ¿verdad? Ayer fue el lunes, sí. Sí. Es verdad, o ando perdida. Ok, la clase anterior fue, el... <risa> que fue el viernes. Eh, recordamos las WH questions con las compañeras mm -hmm. y todo. So that's what we were talking about. Ahí entró Lisette. A ver. Right. Voy a... All right. Lisette so, tal vez entró ayer. Yeah, probably. She's, yeah, she's using <risa> Hi, Lisette. Hi, Lisette. Hi, teacher. Hi, Hi yo, de yo. Bye. Usted entró ayer, Lizeth. Yes. Ah, señor Jessica. <risa> regáñenla, oh, regáñenla. No, <risa> me, me estaban hablando en inglés, pero rápido y yo, ¿qué dice? ¿Qué <risa> dice? <risa> oh, no. Que no entendí nada. Oh, Quedó no, muda, Lizeth. Sí, en serio. Solo entramos Ani y yo. 
Ah, de verdad. Uh -huh. Zulma ya entró ya bastante tarde, ya como unos 20 minutos quizás. Okay. Pero sí, no entendíamos nada al inicio, pero al final estuvo interesante. Very good. Divertido. Very good. Ya ve, ya ve, ya ve, very good. Pero ya regresé, no. así es que ni moto. Very good. Fíjense que cuando me metí, yo dije, ¿qué Me equivoqué de salto. Con una de dos, o me equivoqué o nos cambiaron a Jessica, no puede ser. Sí, pero... Ay, cartón, dijeron el curso. Sí. Esto fue bonito. Ah, bueno, muy bien. Sí, right. sí. eh, lograron y e hicieron la lectura por casualidad, Liz. Esta lectura que está ahí. No, no, solo hicimos un repaso de los Wench y un jueguito en Kahoot. Ah, ok, muy bien. Ah, muy bien, sí, very good. Yeah, that's nice. Very good. Okay, so here, what I want now, is, uh, what I want to do right now is to practice the reading. Okay, acuérdense que es very, very important for you to read. All right, so we're going to practice the reading. This is on the platform. It's 1.14. Is the reading exercise, okay? So de paso les ayuda igual para hacer el, el, la tarea después mm. de esto. All right? So here it says, what's in a name, okay? So it says, look at the names in the, in the article. Do you know any people with these names? What? Mire aquí, ¿se acuerda, Lizeth, que estábamos hablando de esto la vez pasada? What are they yes. like, verdad? Ahí Do you like them or not? It's what are they like, okay? So here you have, hello, my name is. All right, De Joara, can you read the first paragraph, please? Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of you. No veo por el cursor. Oh boy, sorry. <laughs> probably think of your name first. It is important part of your identity. Of your identity, very good. Of your identity. identity. Very good, all right. Lizette, continue, please. Right now, the two most popular names for baby in the United States are Jacob mm -hmm. for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Very good. All right. Continue the Yoara. Names. Um, names can become popular. Become. Become, mm -hmm. uh -huh, become popular because of famous actor. TV or book. Uh, no sé cómo sería esa palabra. Characters. Characters. Characters uh -huh. or athletes. 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 Very good. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Popular names. Soget. Suggest. Suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative thing. Surprising, no, no, esa no sé cómo se dice. Surprisingly. 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 Uh -huh. yes. Surprisingly. People generally, yeah. people generally agree on the word, way they feel about names. Uh, here are some calm opinions about names for a recent survey. For a recent survey. All right, very good. Survey. Very good. Nos vamos a saltar los, um, los nombres ahorita so we can read this here. A ver, Liz, just read the last paragraph, Liz, please. Mm -hmm. So why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Mm -hmm. Many people are naming After a family member, of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular helps me become popular in the future. That's good news for all the George and Betty or there. <laughs> all right, very good. Thank you. All right. Oh, Miriam is coming in. Very good. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to go over the uh, some of the pronunciation here. Okay. Your name is very important, okay? When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Oh, look, Miriam, it's a Christmas like. <laughs> very nice. Hi, Miriam. All right, identity. Hello, hello. So this is identity, all right? That's the pronunciation. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily 
for girl. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? So the pronunciation is unpopular, all right? Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book characters or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things. And popular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from recent surveys. All right, I'm going to continue here. So why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for all the Georges and Bettys out there. All right. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to, to see if there is a word that you don't know, if you don't understand the meaning. Okay. So check in the uh, reading if there is a word that you don't know the meaning or that you want me to pronounce again. Okay, can you check right now, please? Saget? Ah, suggest. 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 Suggest is sugerir. All right. I, well, when you say I suggest we go home, sugiero que nos vamos a casa. All right. I suggest. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly. Sur uh, surprisingly. Where is surprisingly. it? Surprisingly. Yes. Surprisingly. Here. Surprisingly. Sorprendentemente. Surprisingly. Mm -hmm. Viene de surprise, ¿verdad? Surprise, very good. Another one, Miriam, is survey. survey? Agree. Uh, uh, uh. Agree. Agree. Eh, no. Adelante sobre la misma línea. Ah, de here, here, here. Okay. Yes. Yeah, people general agree. Por lo general, las personas están de acuerdo. Acuerdo es esto, agree. Mm. Cuando usted dice yo estoy de acuerdo con usted, en inglés decimos I agree. All right, no decimos I am agree, and that's in Spanish. Solo decimos el sujeto y el verbo. Yo estoy de acuerdo con usted, I agree. Si no, decimos I disagree. All right, so it's the opposite. Agree and disagree. But this one is agree, estar acuer de acuerdo con. Survey, survey es encuesta. That's an encuesta, survey. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have suggest, agree, surprisingly, survey yeah okay any in, other excuse me um in the uh, penultima linea ming dice now ming become yes might ming. might might okay it's, it, yeah it's an unpopular now and uh it's uh it's unpopular now might become, podría, eh, podría convertirse en un nombre popular. Might es podría. Okay. Might become. Very good. Okay. Very good. Any other? Okay. Named. Very good. Este de acá, no sé si lo logran ver ahorita, lo voy a hacer más grande. Solo quiero ver. Named. All right. Este es como que fuera un pasado, Lisa. ¿Recuerda las pronunciaciones del pasado? Termina en E, pero no se, no se pronuncia la E. So, es M, named, like D, all right? Nombrados después de la familia, como tradición, ¿verdad? Que si, llama, si el papá se llama Jacob, toda la gente se llama Jacob en la casa, all right? It's like a tradition, all right? Very good. Here we have boys' names, okay? George, this is the meaning. George is average and is boring. You understand boring? Aburrido. Aburrido. <laughs> Aburrido. All right. 
Jacob is creative and friendly. All right, so if your name is Jacob, you're, you're very creative and very friendly, all right? Michael, mm, good looking and athletic. Good looking is handsome. All right, so, como simpático. Wow. Yeah, como guapo. Uh, guapo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, and athletic, así bien fit, ¿verdad? Bien muscular. All right, very good. And then it's Stanley. <laughs> Stanley here is nerdy or serious, like very nerdo, all right? Nerdy mm -hmm. and serious, all right? Betty is old fashioned, antiguo. Old fashioned and average. Así como, nah, ni muy muy ni tan tan, right? That's like average, all right? Emily is independent and adventurous. Independiente y aventurera, all right? Very good. Jane is plain. Plain is como, como sin mucho, como, como, simple. Plain is plain. plana. <laughs> Plain, yeah, and ordinary, okay? And Nicole is beautiful and intelligent, all right? It's interesting, okay? Very good. Average. Average, Average. is como, como, ah, how do you say that? It's, it's, um, I don't say, like, ni, um, como, ni es, como, 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 como tradicional. No. Sí, como, Ay, como ni es la gran cosa ni menos. O sea, es como, ay, así como que whatever. All right. It's kind of weird. Average. All right. A ver, de Joara. A ver, de Joara. Desde que la conocí estaba con el meaning de su nombre. All right. Now, what does de Joara mean? What is the meaning of de Joara? Es una mezcla, no lo sabría. Oh, my goodness, ok. Explicar, pero es eh, las dos primeras. DA sería Delia. Ok. El nombre de mamá. Ok. J.O. Jorge, un tío, un hermano de ella muerto en la guerra de allá. Okay. A R, que es mi apellido, el segundo apellido de ella, el primer apellido de ella. Y a Arlen, el, el nombre de mi hermana mayor. Oh my goodness, de Joara. So it's a combination. Yes. Oh my goodness. This is complicado. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. And in need? In need. Another combination. No. Oh. Ese es el segundo nombre de ella, pero es, sé que es origen francés. Oh. Pero sí right. existe. All right. Very good. O sea que no va a tener el nombre de Joara. Fíjese que investigando hoy con las ah. redes sociales, encontré otra de Joara en Brasil. Ok. Todo lo que ella dice de que cuando estaba embarazada la mamá de ella, eh, le apareció en un sueño y así se lo, y le gustó y se lo puso, pero oh. es igualito. Oh, really? Oh, look at that. That's nice. Very good. Sí. Okay. Eh, con las redes sociales me puse a, tra a atravesar uh -huh. y ella me apareció. Wow, nice. Very good. All right, Lisette, what does your name mean? Do you know what your name means, Lisette? I don't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> All right, very good. All right, very good. And Miriam, hi, Selena. And Miriam, do you remember, do you know what your name means? It's from the Bible, right? It's from the Bible, is it la Biblia? Eh, pues me lo pusieron por mi mamá, porque ella se llama Miriam. Ah, ok. La, la, la de antes, las descendencias de los nombres. <risa> the traditions, <risa> yes, the traditions, very good. Eh, y Hortensia por una abuela. Ah, ok. Very oh, good. Miriam Hortensia. Oh, very good. Liz, and your name is from your mom or not? From your mother, your grandmother, no. No, 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 nadie. Simplemente a mi papi le gustó, pero en sí que significa el nombre, no, no me recuerdo, porque sí lo vi hace poco. Pero no, simplemente agarraron uno cada uno y así lo pusieron. And lo unieron. Com and the combination. All right, very good. Sí. And your, your baby doesn't have Cecilia or Lisette, no. No, es Alessia Jimena. Oh, yeah, very different. No, nada, sí, totalmente. <laughs> sí. All right, very nice. Ajá. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very good. And Selena, do you, your name is like a tradition or no? Selena del Carmen. It's traditional del Carmen. Yeah, del Carmen, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
the virgin. <laughs> the virgin, yes, of course, yes. For my, my grandmother. Uh huh. My grandmother uh, tell me my mom. Tell tell my mom okay. that I don't know what. Give me th that name. Oh, all right. To give you yeah. that name. All right. Very good. Now, uh-huh. Uh yes, continue, Selena. But Selena is is from 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 my mother. Okay. Your mom's yeah. name is Selena. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the the uh, viene de cielo. ¿Cómo se dice? Ah, uh, it comes from sky. Sky. Mm -hmm. Sky. Yeah. All right. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Yo no okay. sabía eh, por qué me gustaba tanto el celeste. <laughs> ah, right. Yes. Soy tranquila. O sea, soy muy tranquila. Selena, ah, very nice. La paz. Okay. La tranquilidad. So peace and love, Selena. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Yeah. Ahora en internet he buscado el significado y todo eso. Right. Sí me gusta mi nombre, Selena. No me gusta del Carmen. <laughs> okay. All right. Mi, mi firma siempre es Selena Elías. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Nadie sabe que del Carmen, porque es que se del, porque no me gusta. Ah, ok. Pero bueno, <risa> yeah. mi abuelita, ¿verdad? Entonces. Ya, yeah. ¿no? right. ¿Y el es. suyo, teacher? Eh, ¿Qué pasa con el mío? <risa> Um, what did you mean? Jason? My name, yeah, it, my name, it's, it, they say, I mean, the meaning is Hebrew. All right, and it says like uh, blessed from God or something like that. I don't, I can't remember, but it's like I don't know, bendecida de God, something like that. Hace rato lo vi. I can't remember anymore. But <laughs> my mom's name is Miriam, and I don't know. I, I guess my dad and my mom like the name of Jessica, so for no reason because my mom is not. I mean, it's not her name. It's not my my grandmother. So it's just they. Like you said, Lisa, they chose one name, my dad, and then my mom, and they put the combination, and and there, yeah. Okay, Miriam viene siendo casi sinónimo de María. Uh huh. Also, yes. Yeah, it's true. Right. Very good. So, but it's interesting, you know, because many names they have like very nice meanings. All right, like they have very very nice meanings. All right, pero así como hay nombres like very, very nice, hay unos nombres medio raros. <laughs> right, like very, very strange. Como los que les ponían antes, <laughs> según el santo que... Yeah, from the el calendar. Que, el oh, santo que el calendario. Ajá, ajá. Eso yeah. sí. Pobrecitos. Uh, <laughs> yo salí, de, salía mal ahí porque traía Marcos. Ok. El San, San Marcos, imagínense así me hubiese llamado. Ese, pero dice, dice que el origen mío, teacher, es latín y viene okay. de, de, de Celia. Ok. Uh -huh. Y uh -huh. este es del romano. Ajá. Uh -huh. no, entonces viene latín, o sea, es right, yeah. muy, muy latino de España. Ok. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, very good. It's interesting to know names. There are very beautiful names out there. De Joara, if you have a baby in the future... If you have a baby girl, would you name her the Joara or not? No. No? No. <laughs> Primero para que me decida tener hijos. <laughs> All right. No, But ahí la que vio esa es la heredera. Esa es la heredera. Okay. Ah. Te venga igual que una hija. Uh, okay. All right. Pero uh. en dado caso, eh, creería que no. Okay. Si llega a darse. Me gusta más Alexandra. Ok. Eh, Enid también me gusta. Enid is nice. It's a nice mm -hmm. name, yeah. Sí, yeah. son Elena también me gusta. All right, yeah. Very nice. Y nada que ver, no hay nadie que yo sepa que se llame así en el Ok, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, it's nice. Es que cuando uno tiene hijos, este, piensa uno, ¿le irá a gustar cuando sea grande? <laughs> <laughs> La idea de regar aquí, o sea. Right. O si no piensa uno muy yo pesado, más, doy ese nombre. <risa> yeah. Yo más pensaría, o oh, generalmente está con mi sobrina, cuando estuvieron escogiendo el nombre es, piensen en que no les vayan a hacer bullying en el colegio. <risa> Eso fue como lo primordial. 
country. Right. Yeah. yeah. Especially here, you know, it's like mm-hmm. our countries. Because in other countries, they don't really make bullying with the names because no. of, you know, yeah, yeah, it's our culture. All right. Very good. Okay. So anything else about the reading, girls? Anything else? Or oh, we understand everything. No problem with this? No, right? Very good. Okay, so remember that this reading is from the uh, platform. So after you can make the, the, the test, okay? The reading comprehension questions, okay? So I'm going to stop sharing this right now. And I'm going to show you something else. Always from the platform. Just let me go get it here. Uh, just give me a second here. Okay. So here we're going, today we're going to begin section two. Okay, so we're about to begin section two. In section two, we're going to review the WH questions, but with simple present. Remember, we said last class, and I think with Selena, we were talking about WH questions as the verb be, like am, um, is, are, right? Today, we're going to study WH questions with simple present. So do, does, or whatever, right? Where do you go? What do you do? All right. Again, we have seen this before. This is like otro repaso de lo que ya hemos visto porque esto ya lo vimos. All right. Vamos a ver. Uh, I need a conversation here. Just give me a second here, guys, please. Girls. Okay, here. Whoops. All right, so here. This is the conversation. Again, this is in the platform 2.1. All right, so I want you to see this conversation. So we have Jason and Andrea. All right, so there are two people talking, okay? And then Jason says, listen to the conversation right now. I'm going to read it to you. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven, all right? So this is a conversation between Andrea and Jason, all right? So here. Let's see, uh, Lisette, where, where does Andrea, uh, where does Andrea work, um, Lisette? Where does she work? Mm. She works, is a guide. She, yes, she is a guide, all right. She is a tourist guide, very good, okay. So she works at Thomas Cook travel all right that's the name of the company all right very good uh celia celia selena i'm sorry <laughs> selena <laughs> yeah selena what about um jason where does he work and that's the to countries what do you do there Oh, how interesting this In, I think I take people. Uh, I am this. I am guide and and take people on tours to country in South America. Like, but but that's Andrea. What about in, Jason? Where does Jason great, work? Ah, it's a great job. But, uh, um, what do you do? I am a student and I have a part time job. Uh, too. Oh, where did you go? <laughs> no lo encuentro. Ah, a hamburger heaven. Ah, he works at a hamburger, <laughs> hamburger heaven. Very good. Al okay. Finalista. All right, yeah, it's at the end. Very good. Okay, so let's see. De Joana, can you be Jason? And Miriam, can you be Andrea, please? Uh, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Good Travel. Oh, really? What do you do? What do you do there? Um, a guide. guide. I'm a guide. A guide. I take people on tour to country in South America, like Peru. Interesting. Yes, 
it, I create, how yo, I love it. Mm -hmm. and what do you do? I am a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger having. Excellent, very good, all right. So, uh, Lisette and Selena, can you, Lisette, can you be Jason? And Selena is going to be Andrea. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do? I am guide. Mm -hmm. I take people and tours to country in South America, like Peru. Please, please, your microphone. How interesting. Thank you. <laughs> yes, it is. I great job. I love it. And yes. I, what do you do? I'm a student. I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fat food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Very good. All right, very nice. Okay. So here we have, uh, where do you work? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Really, what do you do there? All right, I'm a guide. The pronunciation is guide. I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America like Peru. All right, uh, here, girls, no está diciendo me gusta Peru, es como Peru. All right, I remember that the, the meaning is different, okay? Like Peru. How interesting. All right, esta nos cuesta a veces, how interesting, all right? Yeah, it's a great job, I love it. Acuérdense, lo hicieron muy bien, eso se une, ¿verdad? Love con it, para que se escuche, love it, I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Fast food is like McDonald's, Pizza Hut, Papa John's. I don't know, um, KFC, Burger King, those are fast food restaurants, okay? Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. So he, this is uh, the paradise, all right? This is heaven, this is the pronunciation heaven, all right? It's the paradise of the hamburgers, all right? Very good. So here we have, if you notice, we're talking about where, we're talking about what, all right? Um, what's the other one, where again? Which restaurant? So we're talking about WH question words, okay? That's what we're talking about here. You have to remember, I was telling you last week when we talk about WH questions, las WH questions las podemos usar en cualquier tiempo verbal, all right? No tienen ningún tiempo ellas propias, ¿verdad? Usted las puede usar para preguntar fue, a dónde irá, a dónde ha estado, uh, etc. Right? So we can say donde, like where, where have you been, where were you, where are you, where will you go. It depends on the, uh, the tense. All right? eh, el, lo importante aquí es saber what it means. All right? so, so we can answer the, to the question. All right? So here we're talking about, if you notice, we have where and we have do. We're not talking about the verb be anymore. Okay, we have where do you work? Why? Because this is simple present. This is a simple present tense verb, all right? Or what do you do there? What, all right? What do you do there? In this case, in both questions, we're using do because we're talking about you, all right? We're not talking about he, we're not talking about she, we're talking about you, all right? So I say, where do you work? What do you do? All right, so those are the type of questions that we have to do. It's important no mezclar, ¿verdad? No podemos mezclar el verbo be con los verbos de acción. Eso lo tenemos claro, ¿verdad? We can't do that. We cannot do that here. I'm just going to stop. I don't know. Do you have any questions about the conversation, about pronunciation or vocabulary or no question? No questions about the conversation, no? It's really easy, right? <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm just, I just want to show you something here. All right, so let me just, give me one second, girls, please. I just need to do this. Okay, hold on. 
I want to show you the exercise that I want you to work on right now. And then we can check it later. Just give me one quick second. All right, so here girls, we have this. I just wanna show it to you here. We have this thing here that I want you to see. Okay, so here we have WH questions, present simple verbs, all right? We have this, this is like normal. I study, you study, he, she, it studies English. We study, they study, all right? This is like what we have to remember. When we have WH questions, we can use any, dependiendo de lo que usted quiere preguntar. We're going to use where, when, why, how. La vez pasada hicimos el repaso de qué quiere decir where, when, who, why, all right? So here, what are we going to do? Si no tuviéramos los WH questions, la pregunta empieza desde aquí. Do I study English? Does he study English? Do they study English? All right, serían las preguntas finales de yes or no. Yo le pregunto, por ejemplo, de Yoara, do you study English? Your answer is? Yes. Yes, I do, right? Or yes, if I, I say, do. yeah. Lisette, does Miriam work at Aldeas Infantiles? Does she work? Does she, does she work at Aldeas Infantiles? She does. Yes, she does. Yes, she, right? does. Yes, she does. Very good. Um, Selena, do I mean does Lisette um study French? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Okay, so when we begin the question, solo con el do el does in todo caso, your answer is gonna be yes or no. All right, yes, she does, no, he doesn't, yes, I do, no, I don't, yes, we do, no, we don't, depending if it's yes or not. But when we add the WH questions, all right? Esto es primero, antes que el auxiliar acá, all right? Entonces, cuando nosotros vemos, o nosotras vemos estas preguntitas acá, o estas palabras, sabemos que mi respuesta no va a ser yes, no va a ser no, all right? I say, where do you? A ver, Miriam, where do you study English? Where do you study English, Miriam? I am studying English uh, on my my house. Yes, I study English uh, on my house, right? In my house, very good. I study, very good. If I say, Selena, for example, um, uh, I don't know when. Um, when do you go to uh, the market? Oh, I, I, I. Uh -huh. I, I go, go, I go, I go. Mm -hmm. I go, uh, just, uh, I go today. Okay, okay, yeah, you go, like, you go on Tuesdays, let's say, or you go today, very good. So your I went is the past. Right, yeah, I went is the past. So if I say, for yeah. example, pero la podemos hacer, where did you go? Or when did you go to the supermarket? Or when did you go to the market? You see me say, I went yesterday. When? Right, mm -hmm. very good. I went. Entonces, recordemos que las WH questions no tienen nada que ver con el tiempo verbal. ¿Verdad? Usted puede cambiar el tiempo verbal y las WH, WH questions no le van a cambiar. Siempre van a ir adelante del auxiliar. Es lo primero. Cuando usted escucha where, when, why, or how, sabe que su respuesta no va a ser yes, ni va a ser no. Because I want more information. ¿Ok? Ok. So, oops, sorry. So here we have, for example, uh, where does he study? How does he study English? Now we study online, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo estudia inglés el online? All right, it's not like presential classes anymore, like face-to-face -face classes, okay? Or here, what does he study? What do you do? Ahí va a depender, all right, like what you want to ask, all right? So here, if this is the exercise that I want you to work on right now. For example, number one, igual, eh, bueno, sí, las voy a mandar a dos grupos porque estamos en pareja. But this is what you guys are going to do. Thomas studies English at college. You have to read this, okay? 
Acá le dicen la, el inicio de su pregunta. Where. Basado en qué? En lo que está en negrito. Si aquí dice at college, usted piensa en un lugar. University. It's a place. Entonces vamos a usar where. All right, and you have finished the rest of the sentence, of the rest of the question. Here again, her friend lives in London. Ah, London is a place, it's a city. So you say where, all right? So can you take a picture of this right now, girls? We can, I can send you to your groups. Finish taking the picture, yes. Yeah, okay. All right, so here, I'm gonna send you to your groups. All right, so you can work on that exercise. All right, very good, you may go.
where they usually travel to the countryside on holidays. They are festivals. Where, where do where do where do where do they travel 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 on holiday on holidays. Le nueve. Richard is a teacher. He teach English. Yes. English. What? What? Uh, what does? What does? He do? He... What does he do? Porque dice, Richard is a teacher. He teaches English. Sí, ¿verdad? Uf, es que ahí tengo mi duda. Jessica, auxilio. No, porque no sé si, si no, no, no lleva el is, ¿verdad? No, no. no. Está bien así. What does he do? Yes, perfect. Yeah. Super. Oh. No sé por qué dudamos. <risa> <risa> dudamos. Sí, no, sí. Lo que sabe Vaya. por qué duda, porque de repente lo hacen rápido y lo hacen fa lo sienten fácil y se, se, se pregunta, ¿será de verdad sí? Pero uh -huh. <risa> <risa> ok. La 10 es, this bus goes to the shopping mall. Okay. Where does siempre? Where does? Uh -huh. Where does? Go the bus. Uh -huh. Where does go? Who? No. What is the sentence, Liz? This bus goes to the shopping mall. So you're talking about the bus or this bus? Mm -hmm. All right. This bus. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So the WH question is what? Where? Where? Where, uh -huh. Where the? Where the? Yes. What is the subject? This bus. This bus. Very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. This bus. Uh huh. Where does bus go shopping mall? Where does this bus go? Only. Ah. Uh huh. Because the answer is this bus goes to the shopping mall. Where does bus go? Uh -huh. mm. Where does this no, bus no, go? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Nosotros nos comunicamos. Si <laughs> shopping mall a la pregunta, no tiene sentido. Mm -hmm. no tiene, no Estoy respondiendo. La respuesta. Estoy respondiendo <laughs> lo mismo. Uh -huh. Very good. Ok. Vale, vamos a hacer un repaso. <laughs> Para ver si lo hicimos bien. <laughs> Ajá, let's see, let's see. Las, las dos um, pusimos... Where does friend live? Where does, permítame. Ahí teníamos esa otra duda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ok, veamos, veamos. Ok. Uh, her friend lives in London. Ajá, uh -huh. where? Luego teníamos. Where does yes. friend live? ¿De quién es la amiga o el amigo? Thomas. No. De antes, de, de, antes de friend, ¿qué está? Her. Exacto. Entonces, el sujeto es todo. Her friend. Ah, Her friend. Ajá. Porque si usted solo... Ah, si usted solo ¿Dónde dice, vive su amigo? 
Ajá, y de quién, de ella. Entonces, Ajá. ¿Dónde el amigo vive? ¿De quién es el amigo? ¿Vos ¿Dónde es tuyo, mío, de nosotros, nuestro? Ajá, ¿Dónde vive su amigo, su de ella? Where does her friend live? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Mm? Casi, casi. No, claro, ya, yeah, of course. Very good. Ok, la siguiente contestamos. What does Susan, Susan study? study? Yeah, perfect, what does Susan study? Very good. Uh -huh. okay. La siguiente, who does live in New York? No, who does live? Como preguntando quién vive en Nueva York. Yo le voy a los amigos. Ah, no, pero podría ser. Ajá. Who does ah, live? Con el, con el who es un poco diferente porque decimos uh -huh. who lives in New York. Y se dice Eva lives in New York. Who lives in New York. ¿Quién vive en Nueva York? Eva vive en Nueva York. Entonces le quitamos el das. El, en ese caso sí, con el who le vamos a quitar porque mm. como no sabemos, entonces no podemos ni usar ni el do ni el das. Ajá, ajá. Entonces, who lives in New York? Si dice Eva, por ejemplo, yo digo, ¿quién vive en Sonsonate? Who lives in Sonsonate? Se me dice a Roberto. Roberto lives in Sonsonate. Uh -huh. Ok. Who does live in New York? Ok. La siguiente es, when does brother grab? Ah, lo mismo que en la dos. ¿De quién es el hermano? His. His, his brother. Ajá. Uh -huh. When does his brother get up? Uh -huh. Very good. When does his brother get up? Very good. Yes. Okay. Uh, how does Mr. Brown go to work? Excellent. Very good. Yes. <laughs> Super. How does Mr. Brown go to work? Yes. Y la siguiente. What sell. does sell? The supermarket. The no, supermarket. al revés. Al revés. The supermarket sell. Excellent. What does the supermarket sell? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Porque, Porque el supermarket es el sujeto. Exacto, Miriam. Perfecto. Sí. Si, usted, mm. o si ustedes omiten the supermarket y le ponen un pronombre, sería it. ¿Verdad? Porque solo es un supermercado. Entonces dijéramos, what it, I mean, what does it sell? Pero en este caso tenemos el nombre del pronombre que sería el supermercado. Pero sigue siendo su sujeto. Right. Pero, 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 pero sí podríamos decir, what does it sell? Sí, claro, claro. Sí, acuérdense bueno. que el pronombre o, o nombre es reemplazable. Yo digo, what does Lisette do? O, o digo, what does she do? ¿Verdad? Mm. Digo, Lisette o she. Digo, supermarket o digo it. O puedo decir selectos. Or Maxi, despensa. Right? I say, what does Selecto sell? Mm -hmm. What does, uh, I don't know, Walmart sell? You know? So I can have that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. La otra, la última es, where do they travel on holidays? Excellent. Where do they travel on holidays? Esa está bien, super. Uh -huh. Bye. <laughs> Terminamos. Very good. Ajá, ok. Yes. Veamos cómo trabajaron las dos, otras dos señoritas. Ok. All right, so we can check. Thank you. Thank you, perfect. All right, very good. Let's see. Uh, Selena, number two, her friend lives in London. Oh, de Joara lo, lo tiene, pero me acuerdo que quedó where, uh, where does her, her friend lives? Con ese, Selena. Y de Joara. Ah, perdón, give. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> where Le va a dar un infarto. Yeah, where does her friend live? Like, I'm like, no. All right, no. no. <laughs> Tuvimos 
What does Susan study? What does Susan study? Very good. What does Susan study? Very good. Number four de Joana. Eh, sí, me escuchan, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, for who does Eva live? Ah, ok, no. <ríe> All right. Estábamos hablando con Lisette y con Miriam. Cuando tenemos uh -huh. el who y este tipo de preguntas, el uh -huh. who es un, digamos que es neutro, por el hecho que nos es quién. No sabemos si va a ser nosotros, ustedes, él o ella. Entonces omitimos, uh -huh. su, eh, omitimos auxiliar. Uh -huh. okay. Entonces decimos, who lives in New York? Uh -huh. ¿Quién vive en Nueva York? Y podríamos decir, we live in New York. Puede ser, they live in New York. She lives in New York. Eva lives in New York. All Entonces, right? who, live? la, who lives? En ese sí le dejo la S como Ajá, uh -huh, eso estoy oyendo. Ajá, uh -huh. como lives in, uh -huh. in New York. Yes, very good. Uh -huh. Who lives in New York? Y la okay. respuesta es, le, Eva lives in New York. Very good. Ah, uh, ok. okay. Uh -huh. A la más difícil. <laughs> Respetar la, la regla. La regla, claro. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. okay. All right, very good. A ver, Lisette, number five. When does his brother get up? Excellent. When does his brother get up? Si queremos quitar his brother, podríamos poner when does he get up, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero cuando ponemos his brother, damos más información del sujeto. ¿Quién es él? El, el hermano de él, su hermano. All right. Entonces, in, está bien también si lo ponemos when does his brother get up in the morning. Sure. When does his brother, yeah, yeah, eso está como más rebuscada, pero está perfecta. Ok. Yeah, very nice. Very good. All right. A ver, number six, uh, Selena. Is how, Miss, how does, how, how does Mr. Brown uh, go? Excellent. Go to the work. Go to work, yes, very good, by bus, very nice. Okay, medium, number seven, the supermarket sells apples. What does the supermarket sell? Perfect, very good, super nice. The you are at number eight. Where do you, where do they usually travel on, on holidays? Perfect, yes, very good. Where do they usually travel on holidays? Or solo where do they travel on holidays? Pero ustedes le pusieron okay. el usually, very good. Number nine, Liz. What does he do? What does he do? All right. Uh, Richard is a teacher. He teaches English. All right, very good. The last one, Sally. Teacher, ¿cómo sería en la en nueve? What does he do? He do. Uh -huh. Okay. Es que le había puesto, bueno, le habíamos puesto, what does Richard teach? Ah, también. Okay. Está bien. Sí, lo que pasa es que cuando decimos Richard, cuando vemos la primera respuesta y decimos uh -huh. Richard is a teacher, cuando nosotros en inglés preguntamos ¿qué, de qué trabajas o de qué haces, uh -huh. entonces decimos what, what do you do or what does he do y la respuesta siempre por lo general es así, con el verbo to be. Luego uh -huh. decimos él enseña inglés. Si aquí no hubiéramos tenido esta primera parte de Ibarra, sino que solo la segunda, uh -huh. Cabe mejor la uh -huh. que ustedes pusieron. What does he teach? Porque mi respuesta uh -huh. sería directa diciendo he teaches English. Oh, en esa nos okay. dan la información que primero es profesor y luego nos dan uh -huh. la información de qué, qué enseña. All right? Ok. Entonces, si, yo, si usted viene donde, I don't know, alguien le pregunta, what do you do? Le van a decir, I am a, an engineer. All right? Uh -huh. I am an engineer. Y luego le dice, I designed whatever, ¿verdad? lo que él diseña o lo que él haga. All right? O ella haga. Okay. Very good. Okay. All right. And the last one, ¿de quién era el turno? Liz. Uh -huh. All eh, right. No. Liz no. hizo eso. <laughs> ah, okay. okay. Very good. Ah, so Miriam, sorry. Miriam, you can do number 10. Where does this bus go? Yes. Where does this bus go? All right, y la respuesta sería, this bus goes to the shopping mall. All right, very good, All excellent, right. excellent girls, very good. You see, obviamente, como se les ha dicho siempre, esto es un proceso, ¿verdad? Y es, it's nice que de repente vamos, pero de repente le dice, sí, está bien esta. Y le digo, claro que está bien, lo que pasa es que ya se admira que lo hicieron tan rápido. Y eso sí, de es que no falta de seguridad. Sí, claro, definitivamente con el tiempo y con la constancia. All right, super bien. Thank you so much, girls.
prometo no faltar nunca más. I'm gonna be here tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Por Mire que se le van a ir los alumnos. No, 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 yo aquí estoy. Aquí se me salió de las manos, tuve una emergencia familiar por ahí, pero I'm here. All right, very good. Okay, okay. chicas, las veo mañana. Pasen buenas noches and study, okay? Bye, girls. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you.